Hi guys, I'm AK Rookie and welcome to my Friday Vlog. Hey, yeah. So, what have I doing this week? Well, for those who don't know, I'm actually moving, so this will be my last Vlog from this room. As you can see, some stuff packed around behind me. This whole actual room is a complete tip at the moment. Absolute tip. It's unbelievable. And it's stressing me out packing a bit. Yeah, I've still got loads of little to do. I still haven't packed it. I don't know how to show you the floor behind me because I've basically cleared space so I can record this. I should have already packed the table away that I'm recording this on. This should have already gone away. The chair should have already been packed away. So yeah, I'm a little bit, bit behind, but I'm going to get onto it. Um, what else happened this week? Oh, bit of bad luck on, on Tuesday, I think it was, when I broke my glasses. <sighs> Unbelievable! I actually broke my glasses. The little plastic thing. Um, I've already done my glasses now because I, I packed them away because there's no point having them because they're broken. So I need to get that fixed at some stage, which is going to be really great. Mm -hmm. Also, I had my review this week, which was Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah, the first week, April Fool's Day as well. <laughs> yeah, of course, April Fool's Day this week. Oh, never mind. Anyway, yeah, because of that, obviously, you know, I'd review, and it was nice. It was a nice review. I mean wasn't really any negatives from it you know it was really positive and it was actually really nice to be in a situation when I genuinely thought that the boss wanted me there you know not like oh yeah yeah we want you here blah 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 and all the rest of it no it's like a genuine genuine want to me and it's really nice to feel that want from your employer it's it's really good it is really really good really good um and also at work this week and this is really disjointed this week sorry guys because the stress of packing and one other thing which I'll get to in a minute um yeah so the really, really, really um, thing that well, I'll come to that in a second. I'll come to that in a second. I won't jump to it. I'll, I'll try to fill on. Ba basically, at work this week, um, they started uh, saying to me basically that was it? Can I not let anything go without comment on it? Apparently, if someone says something, I've got to have a comment on it. So, it's such as if someone says, "Was it? Um, why do we have an appendix?" and I'll make a comment such as, "Well, we have an appendix because it was there for a processing seed. It was like a second stomach. Like cows have a second stomach, or four stomachs, in fact, actually, for digesting um, grass." And everyone just looks at me, he's like, "You've got to have an answer." It's like I'm almost being Sheldon, you know that the, the you know they were saying, <laughs> which was you know obviously not what I really wanted wanted to hear. Um, something that has pissed me off this week is on Twitter. You know, these now retweet, retweet in 10 seconds, or you'll have bad luck type thing. Oh, Jesus, it's the reason why I left Facebook, why are they there? It's just like going back to chain letters, you don't break the chain, and you'll have bad luck, blah, blah, blah. What a load of crap. People stop retweeting them. If you see someone tweeting, just block them. You know, before long they'll have no one to tweet to, and that'll be the end of them. It's just, oh, it's just so annoying. Just, why people, why? It's just a load of crap, yeah? A load of crap. <sighs> Yeah, on from that, um, was it, uh, what was I now, I lost my trail of thought now, because of that crap. Um, yeah, um, let's go on to, um, well, I've been thinking about, for ages, to, um, about getting a tattoo. Um, basically, I want to go back to the tattoo I originally wanted, well, I'm not actually going to get the original tattoo I wanted, because, you don't know, I've got a tattoo, um, but... I was originally, when I got my tattoo, I was going to get actually a Chinese dragon. The Chinese dragon was going to actually be wrapped around my body with the head sort of on my shoulder here. But I was talked out of that because there was obviously quite a few sittings to get something like that done. And eventually I just got the Welsh dragon on my arm. Now, I think I'll get another tattoo. And what I was thinking this time is still get a Chinese dragon, but get like a figure of eight just here. A dragon and a figure of eight. Well, you can't, probably can't see. My camera's a bit too high because I'm trying to hide the rubbish. But there you go. Yeah, you can see all the rubbish up again, you know? Yeah. So the figure of eight here was a bit of a Chinese dragon. So the Chinese dragon would be going in figure eight with like a, maybe a fire blast. I don't know yet. That's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm kind of think of another tattoo. Um, those of you who follow me on Twitter, you know how much of a bad eating habits I have, especially when it comes to breakfast. You know, like a Mars bar and a kind of monster, something like that. Uh, but I've recently gone into having something a bit more normal, which is bacon and sausage and baguettes. But I've been having it with chili sauce, not not, not sweet chili sauce. Extra hot chili sauce, read gives you that nice little kick in the morning to wake you up. So, I'm gonna go on to the bad thing that I did this week. Something that you know, I want to apologize for now. If you're watching, I'm sorry, but for those of you who don't know, I get a lot of DM messages on Twitter. A lot of people just wanting to talk to someone, you know, and someone just to listen, which I just do, you know, I just sometimes listen. Some people ask me advice, some people want to help. You know, not everyone, but you know, quite a few, quite a few of the DMs. You know, it's got a lot quieter recently. You know, was it? Um, I'd say, sort of November this year, just gone. I was sort of like getting close to twenty DMs a day for people wanting help, 
And most of them just talking. Just it would just be talking to them, just just so they had someone to talk to. And most of the people who talked to me basically they were talking to me because they had no one else to talk to me. But this week I basically fucked that up royally, pardon my language. But basically someone came to me, they just wanted someone to talk to, someone to listen. And I basically still of being a friend like I should be, was it I basically was an adult. I know some of you are gonna say, You are an adult. You're thirty two. You should act like an adult. Well, this person didn't want an adult, because they want an adult, they go and talk to an adult. You know, they want to talk to a friend, someone just to listen to them. Instead of listening to them, I basically was a dick. I was a complete dick, and I'd basically just tell them what to do. You should never tell the people like that what to do, because you'll upset them. And I upset this person, and hopefully they'll forgive me. But I personally was a complete dick, and I should just listen to you as a friend, and, you know, I just helped you in any way if you wanted me to help you. You know? And I was a complete dick, and what I should have done was just listened. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. So I'm going to end that video there. It's a bit of a sour note, but yeah, I'm moving tomorrow. So i got to carry on. So this video is kind of short. Hopefully it'll be up on Friday. There won't be any cutting videos, guys, because I've already uploaded. Hopefully I'll have new internet by next Friday. So um, you'll have that. Otherwise, I'll be sitting in a coffee shop. I'll be making, uh, I'll basically record this in my room, then take it to the coffee shop to upload. So, yeah, so um, so next time you see me, I'll be in my new house. Um, as always, guys, uh, have fun.